All right, so welcome. Welcome to March. You guys excited to be here today? Oh, yeah, so. All right, well, to get this assembly started today, we have some special guests up front. Uh, representing the Fleet Reserve, we have Roy Granger, who has spent 22 years in the Navy, and Joyce Elter, who spent 23 years in the Navy. So let's give a round of applause. Thank them for their service. And I'm going to turn the mic over to them so they can make some presentations. We're here to present the uh, essay winners that we do every year for the Americanism essays. And I'd like to, uh, I'm proud of your school. You had 24 applicants that we graded. And out of the 12 winners, your school has six of them. Four of them are our first place winners. So I'm happy to say I'm glad for your school, I'm glad you participate, and hopefully you can participate in other years and maybe we'll have some new winners. Our first winner for the 2023 essay contest, what Memorial Day means to me, Americanism Essay Contest, first place winner, Evelyn Schmidt. Next winner is a third place winner, Peyton Winesford. So the first place winner for ninth grade, Will Atkins. So while we're waiting for that picture, um, we do also have some other special guests who are going to come out right now. 
Um, at this time, if we could, we're going to have some representatives from the Crystal Apple Awards come out and explain to us how the Crystal Apple Awards work. So let's uh, give them a round of applause. Crystal Apple Award recipients for this cycle is Mrs. Anderson.
All right, that is awesome. And while we're waiting for that fixture over there, we have some more things to, to go through during our assembly. First off, let's have a quick shout out to our wrestlers who placed in the state tournament. Second place, Colton Wilder. Third place, Dave Grasso. And sixth place, Derek Goddard. We're going to represent Auburndale. Also, on Saturday night, our boys basketball team became regional champs. They will play on Thursday. Let's give them a round of applause as they take out the marathon the sectional. I do want to let you know there is a fan bus opportunity. If you're interested in taking a fan bus to Barrel on Thursday, there is a sign-up sheet in the office. It is $15, which includes the ticket to the game. That's $15, and that's for Thursday's game to Merrill. So like I said, if you're interested in the fan bus, please sign up in the main office. Also, congratulations for our DEPA students, Alexis Fate, for taking sixth place in food marketing and advancing on to nationals. Let's give her a round of applause. Also, Mackenzie Kuyper and Ida Sundberg for taking awards as well. Now, at this time, I want to call out our Students of the Month who were nominated for Attitude. If you remember last month, we had four. This month, we have a lot. So, as you're nominated, I want you to come down. You can grab something from the uh, snack cart here. So first, Riley Rennick. Next, Emily Reschel. Danica Blomberg. Luz Carrera. Brody Bronski. Ruth Swanza. Swazo, okay. Who's Swazo? Uh, Rose Hazaro. <laughs> Emily Van Aston. Jackson Gooby. Sawyer Journey. Brenda Thiel. Colleen Schmidt. <laughs> Elena Steins. <laughs> Lily Gooby. <laughs> Brooklyn Weiler. <laughs> Preston Meyer. <laughs> and Wayland Pisner. All right, as I said, that was a big group nominated this month, so I want to thank the staff for recognizing these students all for, again, demonstrating attitude. Sometimes this time of year, it's really difficult to have a, a positive attitude as the winter can drag on. We've been pretty lucky this year. Winter has been a little milder than most, but well-deserved, all of you, for being nominated. Now, for our winners, and remember, winners do receive a $10 gift certificate as well as a new school certificate. So, our first winner. This student comes to school each day with a positive attitude, able to relate positively with a variety of groups of students as well as staff. He has a positive attitude towards his education and schoolwork. Congratulations to Brody Bronski. The student is a hard worker. She gives her best effort and approaches to challenging tasks with a positive attitude. Congratulations to Elena Stein. All right, let's give one more round of applause for all of our nominees. All right, 
while we get that picture over there. Our next club, which is March right now. Anybody know what our character trait is? Perseverance. Perseverance. Perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after another. That quote by Walter Elliott. Thomas Edison said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. And lastly, Confucius. Confucius said, the man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. So that'll be our character trait for this coming month. All right, does any of the other staff members have any other announcements or shout outs they want to make? All right, um, do you need the seniors? Okay, so the seniors can stay briefly with Mrs. Hilgard. Uh, we do need Mr. Jasinski's Eagle Time. And when you guys leave here, go back to your Eagle Time. Uh, not the one you signed up for, but your regular Eagle Time teacher. Except Mr. J's group should go to Mr. Kenoyer's room. And also, jazz band students should go with Mr. Wagner. Because they have a contest coming up. Alright, have a great afternoon.